Hey, welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG, and we're still here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with Indiana Oxygen and Lincoln Electric in the well shop area. Now, we get several well projects throughout the week, but today the track is actually closed, and we're waiting for them to tear the cars down to find out if there's any defects that have to be repaired. Now, because of the slow time, we get all kinds of projects here, and one of them in particular happens to be a mechanics tool where he brought us one of his grinding ear tools happens to be cast aluminum. That yeah, sounds like an easy project, but cast aluminum is really kind of a nightmare because it's not a real clean material. So we're going to weld that up for the mechanic today and give it back to him. And you'll probably notice we have another project here, and they look like gears. And they actually are gears that came out of the gearbox out of a race car. Now these particular gears are worn out or they have some kind of a defect. So rather than throw them away, we have people that like to make bookends out of these. Now these three gears will eventually be welded together and we're just gonna show you what we do here in the off times at the track. Okay, I've got a sample set up here. I just wanna set up my machine first, make sure I've got good cleaning action and just run a little bead on plate it's always a good idea before you go on the part. I've, I've accidentally set the machine too high at different times and uh, it's quite a surprise when you uh, get your part a little bit hot. So here goes, let's just do a little uh, test sample. Okay, I've got it set on some pretty major cleaning. You can actually see that cleaning. So it's really attacking the oxides. All right, now I've got the right temperature. Right amps. So as I uh, test this thing out, I think I'm probably right where I need to be. And you can see the, the cleaning action that's taking place right here is much more than normal. And the only reason I set it for that is because the part that I have is going to be a very dirty part. It's uh, typically got a lot of oxides in it, oil residue. So I'm going to tack the part first. And as expected, it, it is pretty oily, but it's just the nature of the beast and we can't get all the oil out of it. So we let the machine clean it for us. Yeah, you can see how much oil is already impregnated in there. And all you do is just, you know, let the machine boil it out. Add a little filler material.
I'm tacking these now with a filler called Inconel 625. And the reason I'm using Inco 625 is because it has a high content of nickel. And welding on these hardened uh, steel gears needs quite a bit of elongation or it needs to be able to stretch. So when this material re-solidifies, it doesn't hot short crack on us. Well, we welded up this cast aluminum, and it, it was pretty dirty. It spit and sputtered, and uh, again, that's the nature of the beast. You're not going to get much cleaner than this. But again, let the machine do the work for you. You can see I welded inside here. I used 4043 only because 4043 is less crack sensitive. So if you don't know what the material is, it's always a good idea to go to 4043 filler material. Now, as far as the gears that I was welding, the gears that came out of the race car, we put them to special use. I'd like to share that with you. You can put your welding or how-to instruction welding books with our bookends. Well, that's it for TIG time. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. TIG.